can torture and murder be considered as official functions of a head of state and so attract immunity? That's the discussion in there. Let's say that the general gets himself a nice little holiday home over here. And let's say that he takes against his English gardener and one day he kills him. As a former head of state in England, is he immune from prosecution? Well, is he? If it's true that there's only one Spanish case left in place after this decision, then I'd say, when did it become a requirement that we only pursue serial killers? I can't see why today's ruling should alter the Home Secretary's course of action in extraditing Pinochet. Do you? No.